Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Please ignore the friends that I have uh, today. They, they just don't want to be camouflaged at all. Um, so, they're, they've been a little annoying lately. Anyway, I have a beauty haul today. I'm very excited. This is actually a pretty small haul. I don't have a ton of things, and it's just a few things that I picked up here and there, and then I have, um, something that I was sent happy mail from my Scentsy rep so I wanted to show you that kind of go through it really fast as well yeah before I start though don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and please leave me a comment down below let me know what you think uh, and what you've picked up lately I would really love to know first thing is actually not something that I purchased it was something that was given to me by a friend this is the benefit pore professional tight tight and tone pore refining AHA and PHA toning foam she got her uh, Ipsy Beauty bag, her uh, regular one, and she doesn't use toner, so she gave it to me. I don't use a lot of toner, but I definitely will use this, so I'm excited to try it. I have the cleanser too, so I might try to use those together, use the, the toner, the cleanser and the toner in conjunction. Uh, they have some cool packaging. I don't know if I need everything to be foaming nowadays, but there's that. This next thing was on the Ipsy Drop Shop, which now that they're combined with Boxy, popped up. And I posted about it, and I actually don't have it with me because it is on, it's in my bathroom, not not here with me. And so I will insert it, an image of it. But it is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. I have been wanting this since it came out, but her palettes are so expensive. They were $65, and now they, I think they're $69. And that's just a lot. And this was $28 or $29 on the drop shop it might have I don't think it had a dollar 99 handling fee I don't remember seeing that anyway I'm very excited to finally have it I used it yesterday it's not, I'm not wearing it today but I'm going to be wearing it uh, tomorrow and yeah insert pictures here now other deals I found were a couple of give palettes from TJ Maxx and Marshall's so I got one at TJ Maxx and one at Marshall's the one at TJ Maxx was $7.99 and the other one was $9.99. Now, the one thing is they put this on here and I don't know if it's gonna come off without tearing. I don't wanna tear uh, the packaging. So I could actually kick myself on this first one because I was in at TJ Maxx and I was like, oh, I think I have that one. This was simple kind of life. I forget which ones I have because they're all very familiarly named because they're all named after her songs. And as a huge Gwen and Nova Doubt fan, like, they, I should remember. Anyway, I had to go and look at what I had and went, oh, that's the one I didn't have. They had three of it. They were all unopened when I was there. I went back the next day. They only had one of them left. Somebody had looked at it. I don't think it's been touched, but I'm going to spray it with alcohol anyway before I use it. So I'm not going to swatch it just because of that. So this is Simple Kind of Life. And in here, there are uh, four shades. They're kind of bland shades they're not my not my cup of tea my normal cup of tea at whatsoever but I did pick that one up for $7.99 I'm so happy to have it because I I wanted to get all of her palettes no matter what uh, but for $29 versus $7.99 or $9.99 this is the one I picked up at Marshall's this is rich girl so that's this should complete my collection and I could have sworn I had already shown this one but I obviously didn't and this one definitely hasn't been touched. Look at how, I like these colors better. I like the shimmers. I'm a shimmer person though. Love my shimmers. So $7.99, $9.99, was very happy to get those for a third of the cost of the palette normally. Let's stick with TJ Maxx and Marshalls and look at some supplements that I picked up. I've gotten this a couple times before. This is the Nature's Truth Beauty Collagen Type 1 and 3 gummies and they're strawberry flavored. They taste really nice. Um, and these were $8.99 at TJ Maxx. I don't know if you can see that. I picked up two of them. I actually have a third bottle that I picked up two, but I have been taking those and um, not, not as regularly as I should because, um, so anyway, I did pick up three bottles of them. So I have two more months supply after my current bottle. Then I picked up some other ashwagandha gummies. I've been, I feel like these have been helping me somewhat. And so decided to pick up another set. This is, was $7.99. These are Wellness Garden. No idea how they taste. I haven't tried these yet. I'm currently using a set that are just okay. Not my favorite, but 
I have been finding that they have helped me a little bit with my stress. Then the last supplement I picked up was Hims and Hers, and this is the Sleep Type Gummies. They have uh, their melatonin. This is the Moonlight Moonlit Pomegranate flavor, and these have two milligrams of melatonin for two, so like one each. So these are very low dose melatonin. I don't like these. Um, the flavors, whatever, but they're so chewy. Like they are, they give you a lot of, you have to chew them and they just have a weird texture. They are not pleasant to eat at in the slightest. So I would not get these again, even if they were pretty cheap at $4.99. Okay, this I picked up quite a while ago from Macy's and it just took me a while to work it into a haul because I haven't been doing like I've been doing specific hauls I guess this is from Mac and Whitney Houston this was like $18 I want to say and I used my $5 off coupon maybe it was 18 after I got my $5 off coupon I just thought it was a pretty color I mean Whitney Houston I'm not like a huge Whitney Houston fan I think she's super talented and I'll listen to her music but it, it like I'm not like oh, Whitney um that, that that's just who I am but this blush color looked so pretty like I was I was really taken by the shade and my hands I just put lotion on so that probably not gonna blend out very well but it looks pretty and I do like Mac formulas so I'm happy to have this one I'm not gonna keep the box though normally I would keep the box but I gotta let some packaging go this next thing I sent away for it was like a little offer on Facebook or Instagram I keep clicking on those and getting things so this is from La Mer it has really pretty packaging um, has the seal on it I don't know if you can see the seal there we go and let's open it up inside this is what it looks like inside it's the presentation on this man for free and let's see so oh, I got two things in here that's the ingredient list this is how to use it uh, this is the moisturizing soft cream. I do like their moisturizing soft cream. It's so expensive though. Like I, I will never buy La Mer because I just, I literally can't afford it. Uh, how big is this? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me how big it is, but it is very, very tiny. I might try it on my skin actually because I've been struggling with moisture and like things laying right on my skin recently. So maybe I need to up my moisturizer game and get rid of my gel moisturizers. I don't know. We're going to do my uh, Scentsy. So it came in this pretty pink envelope. If you are interested in uh, anything Scentsy, you can message me or leave me a note down here and I will give you the contact information for my Scentsy rep. She is absolutely awesome. I love her so much. Uh, I don't buy a ton from uh, Scentsy just because it's kind of expensive and out of sight, out of mind. Um, I'm more of an impulse person. Anyway. In here, we have several different wax samples. We have Mandarin Zest, which is the Easter collection, Sweet Mandarin, Mandarin Watery Pear, Sunshine, and Blue Skies with a hint of vanilla. That one sounds really nice. So I might be a little behind since these seem to be Easter collection. Then this is Pinkberry, ooh, Pinkberry Fluff, which is Pinkberry, Marshmallow, and Vanilla Bean Swirl in an airy combination. Um, I love marshmallows, so that one sounds very nice. Then we have this one, which is strawberry lemon cake. Uh, this was the March uh, scent of the month, so it's probably gone. Fresh strawberries and a sweet surprise to lemon zest and vanilla buttercream, the perfect combination. I can't really smell them through this. And then the last one I got was this one, and this is uh, violet sponge sugar, tart cloudberries, and meat violet water and sponge sugar. What a whimsical celebration. Excited to try all those. She also included candy, so I got a couple of little dove hearts. Um, and some lollipops as I throw them. I'm actually really excited to, to, these are charms. That sounds really good right now. And it got a few little cute stickers and a pencil. Yeah, I'm just, I'm behind, like I said, just trying to get everything done and I haven't been filming like as many videos as I normally did. And they're not just, I'm not getting them up either, so. Um, and then also sent me a catalog. There's some super cute things in here. Um, I need to get this flamingo for my mom that's one of the things I want to get and then there's a whole like Disney collection here in the middle that that's where most of my are they bringing this back if they're bringing this back this is the one that I really really want I need to I need to look into that I think 
Moving on to the Sephora VIP, VIB sale. I picked up two more things at from the Kohl's website the last, like very last minute before the sale ended. This I had had on my wish list before. This is Rare Beauty Kind Words and this is just a little lip set and this was 20 minus 20% 20 because I am rouge. And did I need to try this? No, no I didn't. But I just thought I had wanted it before and went for it. I'm not sure like the color, like will that work? It's a little brownie, but it's it's still kind of pink. So I think that this will work. I'm really interested in trying the formula. And then there is the nice uh, lip liner. It's very tiny. They're, they're both pretty tiny. I like the packaging though, like it's so unusual. So I picked up those. And then I had picked up this in flannel, which was the total wrong shade for me. And this is the shade I actually should have gone for. This is Cowgirl uh, by Give. It is the I'm Still Here, here Lightweight Long Wear Matte Liquid Lipstick. So many words. And I wore this yesterday and I really liked the shade. I got, it just came in the mail. So uh, that's what it looks like. It is a color I really enjoy. It The smell kind of is reminding me of the Too Faced uh, matte lipsticks that's kind of the scent is reminding me taking me back to that so hopefully they don't go rancid really fast and I haven't decided if I want to return the flannel one or not I probably should I probably should then we have an order from Ulta I put in an order during their stock up sale and there's just a few things that I got but I did get a free gift so this was the free gift it was a mystery gift of skincare not my like most exciting thing. So there was a moisture surge in there, which we just heard about what's going on with my skin. We have a scrunchie that is feels very cheap. And then there was also a cleanser and I'm currently using this cleanser actually. So not terrible, not as exciting as I was expecting for a mystery gift. I don't know. I wanted different brands of skincare. Um, so I picked up two of these that were, I think they were 40% off. This is my favorite base coat. This is the Sar Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Nail Clinic in a Bottle. And I like this version. There's another one that says it's hard as nails, but it's not in the circular bottle. No, it is not nearly as good. So I don't like that one. And then I picked up a whole bunch of these little nail ink or nail topia Disney hundredth anniversary nail polishes. So I got an Alice and then I picked up another Alice for my cousin's uh, girl. And then I got Anna and Olaf. It is hard to see, but they are slightly different. Um, this one is more opaque. This one's more of a shimmer. And then I picked up Poo for, um, and Piglet for my cousin's ex-wife. And, uh, then I picked up a Cheshire cat for their daughter. And then I also got, uh, Elsa because of course I had to get Elsa. Those were all buy one, get one free or buy one, get no, it was buy two, get one free. So I ended up getting extras because I wanted five of them. I wanted Anna, Elsa, Olaf, because I love Frozen, and I wanted Allison the Cheshire Cat. So that was five, and then I was like, oh, I have to get uh, my cousin's girl, Chess and Alice. So then I had like, that was seven. So then um, if I bought one more, then I got one more free. So I added Pooh and Piglet for her mom, and um, I'm really excited for getting together with them. I wanted to finish with a soap haul from Bath & Body Works pick these up during the $2.95 soap sale that they did, which was like a great deal. I also had a 25% off coupon, so that these were all $2.21 or $2.22 a piece with that. And now that they're $7.95, $8.95, some of these, like that's basically, you know, 50 or 75% off. So I picked up Island Margarita. I know I already have this one, but I really like the scent. So picked up another one of the gels where I could. This is a new scent. I picked up two of the street sweet strawberry scoop. This is sugared pink uh, strawberries and vanilla bean ice cream. This kind of reminds me of strawberry snowflakes. I think it's probably very similar, if not the same. I didn't, I haven't smelled them next to each other. I literally just picked these up today. And then I also picked up an Island Papaya. This one is good. This is tropical coconut, fresh papaya and sugar cane. Island Margarita is fresh squeezed lime and sea salt. And then I picked up a Sunshine and Lemons, which is lemon juice, lime twist, and sugar crystals. This one's really nice. This is uh, their new like summer packaging. I think it's cute. While the gels are my favorite, and I try to stock up on those whenever possible, some of these um, they don't have in 
gel. They only have them in foaming. So I'm going to show you what I picked up in foaming. I picked up two of this one, which I just finished the other one of. This is Velvet Elderberry. This is Ripe Elderberry, Raspberry, and Sweet Musk. I love this. This to me was like strawberry or raspberry jam that they did in the fall, um, but didn't have that cake note in it. It was a little bit more tart, but smells like a syrup or a jam. Really liked it. So even though you can't put these in the soap holders, it, it's a good one and I would recommend it. And if it shows up at SAS for 75% off, I'll probably pick up more of it. My goal was 15 soaps and there was a couple that I wanted to try that I couldn't find in store even though I thought that they were available when I was looking through and did the buy online pickup store. Starfruit, San Starfruit Sangria was one of them. Um, I don't remember what the other one was, but a few of the scents that I thought were possibles, I smelled them and I just didn't like it. So I picked up two of this one because I do like this one. This is Blueberry Bellini, Wild Blueberry, Bright Citrus and Sparkling Prosecco. Packaging is pretty, but I've had this one in the past and I knew I liked it. So I grabbed a second one of that and this is the other one that I absolutely loved. This is pineapple Prosecco, and I just used one of these earlier this year, and oh my gosh, so good. Sparkling pineapple, bubbly Prosecco, and white nectarine. It's so good. Then I picked up a sweet apple. The packaging on this is so pretty. This is Farm Fresh Apple, Crisp Pear, and Orchid Skies. It kind of reminds me of Crisp Apple as well, so like if you've had that one, you probably would like that one. Strawberry Kiwi. I wasn't sure about this one. I liked it. This was the last one that my store had. This is strawberry, sweet apple, and tart kiwi because I remember not liking it in something else earlier when I smelled it. And then got a gingham gorgeous. Probably should have picked up two of this one, but I, I just, I wanted one. This is pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blossoms. And then the last soap I got was another island margarita, but this is this cute little looking sharp. Fresh squeezed lime and sea salt. I like to keep this in my bathroom here at work. Um, just, I don't know, I've been using these all uh, this semester and just really, it's just fun. Like the one I have right now is Orange You Amazing, but I had like chasing, I don't know, something else. And I had one more left and I was like, I'm gonna get picked up this one. They have a watermelon lemonade. That was the one I was looking for in this packaging and I could not find it. I really wanted that one because it was cute. It had like a little turtle on it or something but maybe I'll find it for SAS. So that is it, uh, quite a bit, but not as bad as it has been in the past. Like the, I would have had a Bath and Body Works haul and a beauty haul and like I got them both in and uh, under 20 minutes. So let me know how you are doing. I hope you are all having a fan task day. I hope that it is warm where you are and I hope that you have a wonderful week. Let me know how you're doing and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.